What's up guys and welcome to another Random Wednesday. Today I'm gonna talk a little bit more about stock photography and just something very specific here that might help you generate more sales. It's something that I am trying and just learned a little bit more about this and that is the importance of your keywords and where to put them. Real quick, this is Adobe Stock, Adobe and Alamy. I'll open that uh, page as well. They're the ones that are very specific about putting your top keywords in the top 10 category. So, when I export in Lightroom, Lightroom organizes everything in alphabetical order. Adobe wants you to organize them uh, in a way that your top 10 or your top five are the most relevant keywords. That'll help you generate more sales. I started doing this with some of my newer images, so I will show you um, if this works or not. I don't know, because I've never done it. <laughs> I think I did maybe 1% of my images. I have, where's my catalog here? I have 16,000 images in Adobe, and I've only done this with 1% maybe. So let me go here to my newer images. Uh, they're the ones I've been doing from the drones and travel and stuff like that, and even some of these abstracts. So let me click here on this abstract. Let me show you in Adobe. As you scroll down, you'll see the blue here. You'll see the information. When you go to the end of your keywords, there's a little pencil. Click on that pencil. Now, that'll bring you your keywords. And these are organized, but you can see here there's a little arrow that brings it to the top. And then you can also drag and drop the most relevant keywords up to the top. And Adobe does this color code thing. And after five, they go gray. Uh, they tell you to do 10 and organize your keywords in the 10, but according to this, they only want the top five keywords that are more relevant to your images. I did 10, I tried to organize them and do 10, but let me scroll down here. There's Here's some of those strawberries I was doing that I've sold a few. So let me click on that. Let me go here to the pencil and see now it's, it's alphabetical. Strawberries is not even in the top 10, so that's not, that's not gonna help people find this image. So if I go RS, where is strawberry? So let me click that all the way to the top. Uh, let me click here, I don't know, organic maybe. Uh, health, garden, and one more uh, fruit. So now I can organize these top five. Strawberry, I wanna put health up here and fruit and then organic garden. So now I've, I've organized those keywords to help Adobe show this image to other people. And now don't forget to click save. Something that I want to uh, ex explore here is I have batches and as far as I know, I can't do batch editing like this with Adobe. I can with Alamy and I'll show you that process here quickly. But what I, I wanna see if, if somebody finds that one image my other images should show up as relevant. So maybe you don't have to do it for all of them. I'm gonna investigate this a little more and let you know what, what I come up with. But I think if I just do one image out of the series, similar images are gonna show up when somebody clicks on this one. Uh, let me show you Alamy here real quick. So here in Alamy, uh, the process is very similar. You'll have, let me zoom in here. So you have your stats, how many images you have, and also how many images are on sale with poor discoverability. So the higher your keywords rank, the more, the easier it's gonna be to find those images. So let's click here where it says they're poor. And I've done these already. I always do it with Alamy. So these are some of the strawberries. So when you click, let me show you this one. This one does not have the keywords. Uh, that's probably one of my last uh, uploads. So anyway, let me unselect those, click on the strawberries, and here you can star 10 images. You put the little blue star and that'll help you sell those images. That'll make those images more discoverable. Uh, strawberry, fruit, organic, garden, uh, isolated, I see. As you can see, it's already in green. So it's al already saying this image is gonna be a lot easier to find. And I'm only at seven keywords. And we could always take it one more step. If you go here where it says optional, here on this corner, here you could add, are there any people in the image? Is there any property, the location, uh, if that's relevant? And then categories. This will help Alamy show your images to more people that are interested in buying your images. And you could also do it 
uh, in batches. You don't have to do one at a time. I can select all these that have the cream, go back, and they all have the starch. Just for whatever reason, I picked the wrong words and they're not findable. But anyway, I just wanted to show you this. I'm gonna try and, and do this more and more with Adobe and then let you know the results, see if this is working. I like to experiment. That's what I'm doing with this stock. It's worked for me in the past, but I want to see if it's still relevant, which is why I did so many pictures of strawberries and I'll continue to do more just to see if I can sell something that's saturated. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. That was the point of this video was to try to help you get the right keywords in the right places to help you generate more sales. So thank you very much. I will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. On the top five. All right, how about Yep, that one's important too. That one, the city, that's probably important. So let me rearrange this and, oh, there we go. Now we got quite a few more images that are organized and have more sellability. Save.